Hi YouTube, so this is not going to be so much of a how-to video and it's going to be more of my experience painting tile. Um, I'm probably not going to tell you everything that you need to do for this. Um, I looked up a few YouTube videos before I tried this. Um, so far so good. This is the second coat of primer on this paint and I'll give you a little bit of an idea of how I did this. Um, to start with, I went to Home Depot. I thought I would be able to get a better product than this. I saw some better stuff on other YouTube videos. What you'll need is, you'll need a high adhesion primer. In my case, I use this stuff here. And it says right on this that it will adhere to tiles. It says on the back that you don't really need to prep the tile, you don't need to sand it or anything. Um, I saw some videos, people just painted the tiles. Some people I've seen use a power sander on the tiles. In my case, I don't know how well this is going to hold up. So this is, like I said, an experience video of how this went for me. In my case, these tiles were, they're about 15 years old. I scraped them all with a razor blade scraper. Um, surprisingly, there was a lot of stuff stuck to them. Just like stuff. Um, there was also some stickers on the tiles that I had to remove. So I scraped those off. Then what I did was I cleaned all the tiles with Ajax solution, a powdered stuff, and a scrub brush. Scrubbed all the tiles down, um, real good. Wiped them down, tried to get all the Ajax solution off, and then I went over them with a coarse grit sanding block, uh, the foam spongy type ones. And went over all the tiles with that. Then I went over it again with the Ajax solution. The key thing with this is that the tiles need to be extra, extra clean because they're really glossy to start with. So your primer has a hard time, even a high adhesion primer, has a hard time sticking to the tile because there's not much for it to stick to. So I went over it all with the sanding block. It didn't really scuff up the, sur the surface, but it did take off some stuff that the scraper left behind and stuff like that. So after that, I went over this with the, the primer and a three-quarter nap um, roller. Uh, I did use a high-quality roller. I think it's three-quarter. Yeah, three-quarter. I uh, did use a high-quality roller. Um, results were pretty good. I'm going to show you what how this came out pretty well. This is the second coat. I'm about to do a third coat on the wall. So far, I haven't had any problems with paint adhering or anything. The only problem that I've had so far is over here there was shelves on these walls which is why um, there's some holes here over here these three tiles I had this the first coat when I went I wiped it down because I did some sheetrock work above it um, when I wiped it down I noticed the paint was kind of bubbly and after I rubbed a little harder it started to come off so I scraped those tiles clean again. I went over them with the sanding block, uh, wiped the whole wall down, put another coat of primer on there. It looks a lot better now. I think there was a sticker there or something was on those tiles that uh, stopped this from sticking. Anyway, so this primer here says on the back of the can that it dries in an hour to touch and you can recoat in an hour. So I've been recoating this about every hour and 20 minutes, uh, about hour, hour and 20 minutes. And this wall behind me is done being primed. I put the first coat of latex paint on here, which I did not see any videos on YouTube that anybody painted their tiles with latex paint, which is probably because it's not that durable, but I wanted to color match the room with the walls. So I did it anyway. And I'm going to see if there's maybe a clear uh, urethane or something that I can put like a clear coat on top of it to make it a little more durable and harder. Um, probably shoot a video after that's done. If you want to look through my videos, there'll probably be a video on that if I do it. If I don't do it, there won't be a video. And then I'll probably make a video in a couple months on how well this held up. Um, so, so far, so good. I'm pretty happy with the results. This primer is pretty good. Primer says that it takes a full seven days to fully harden. So if you have the time and you're going to use this particular primer, which like I said, there probably is better products out than that, 
Um, I suggest that you let it harden for the full seven days before you top coat it. I did not, and I think it's going to be okay, but um, I just want to get this room done, so I'm not really giving it the extra time. But I think that it says you can recoat it in an hour, so I don't see why you couldn't top coat it in an hour. They're both latex paint based paints, so I, I think they'll be okay together. So as far as painting tile, this was not that hard of a process. It took about two hours to prep the tile, fully scrubbing it out. Um, I, I scrubbed all the grout and everything, and then putting, um, sanding it all down, cleaning that up, making sure the floor around it was clean and everything, and then putting the first coat on. The first coat goes on, it looks really, really spotty, like, like, the first time I did it, I had used this paint before on paneling, so I know it would do this, but for somebody that is doing this the first time, I should have shot a video of this, but I didn't. It goes on really spotty, like, it, it looks like it's not going to stick, and it'll probably, probably be disappointed with it at first. After you put the second coat on, you'll realize that it really colors really well. It just needs that, that first spotty coat to get the best adhesion. So don't rush it, don't over apply it. The paint's very thick as it is already. Um, and I think I'm gonna have good results with this, I really do. I think it's gonna be uh, better than I expected. And like I said, this is one coat of paint on top. It's real spotty. It's uh, Gideon High Endurance paint, which I don't recommend buying. I will not buy this again. It was not good. Um, it's very, very thin, and you need way too many coats to really for it to cover anything. I saw other YouTube videos that people were very disappointed. They couldn't even cover pencil marks underneath. And um, I'm lucky because I primed the whole room with, with primer before I painted, so I don't think I'm going to have that problem. But as far as the tile goes, if you're thinking about painting it, um, it can be done. Don't give up on it because these were like bone color tiles and I, I painted them with the white primer and now they're going to be red. And I think they're gonna they're gonna withstand pretty well. And uh, check out some other YouTube videos on painting tile because I found a couple good ones. Some of them make the process seem very involved. It's really not. It's not that bad. And I I think as long as it's not don't paint tiles that are in a shower that that they, that will definitely not hold up. So this is this shower doesn't have any tiles above it. Just these ones that are around it. I'm also going to try to paint the, 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 um, the tub. I'll make a video on that if it works out. Um, I'm probably going to try the Rust-Oleum Restore stuff for the, uh, the bathtub because this is not, this bathtub is like, a, I don't know, almond color or whatever, and it's, it's totally not going to match this room when it's done. So, anyway, good luck with your tile painting. Um, it can be done. And I think you're going to have good success if you take the time to prep it out correctly. Alright, good luck.